this is the Mighty Oba here on our weekly sports update here on CLB TV and Mix 1080 AM WFO Radio. This is our weekly sports update. The Buffalo Bills in preparation for their season are now getting to the part where most coaches and personnel people do not like doing. They have to release players and put together their practice squad uh, for their 53-man roster and their eight-person practice squad. And right now, the Buffalo Bills find themselves at a point at certain positions on this football team where it's going to be very difficult to release certain players, knowing that other teams are possibly going to pick up those players. I have never been to a preseason game here uh, in Buffalo where I've seen so many scouts from other teams. And that is an indicator that the Buffalo Bills have some positions that other teams are monitoring to see who they release. Some of the players that I think are on the bubble uh, are at the position of receiver and defensive line. And we've gotten some pretty good play out of the players that are competing for these positions that I believe that other teams are going to readily uh, look at these players and try to sign them as soon as the Bills uh, possibly release some of them. They will have to get down to 53 men before uh, the Tuesday before the first game. Um, this week, they have to be down to 75 players. I think the Bills will be below uh, that amount, making uh, the last week of the cuts a little bit easier uh, to manage where you need to go. And I think they're going to cut players that obviously do not have a chance at making this football team. These are players uh, that they have cut down already, and you've seen them release players uh, throughout the course of training camp, making it a little bit easier to get down to 75. They probably will have to release around eight or nine players to get down to 75. I'm anticipating that the Buffalo Bills will release uh, more than that and then making the last cut a little bit more manageable. So you're looking at players that you could possibly cut now and then bring back for the practice squad. Uh, this week, you have the re-entry of Jarius Bird uh, onto uh, the roster of the Buffalo Bills, and I think uh, that Jarius Bird will still uh, try for a contract extension before the season, and if it is not done, I think you're going to have a disgruntled player, and I think it will probably be in the best interest of the Buffalo Bills and Jarius Bird that they part company, and the Bills need to see what they can get. Jarius Bird is a... Uh, very high rated commodity in this league right now whereas I believe they could get a second a fourth and possibly a future draft pick for Jarius Bird's services and if they believe that Aaron Williams and Denora Searcy and Brian Scott and the players that they have that have experience at the safety position are ready to play this includes Duke Williams the rookie that you uh, might consider letting Jarius Bird go and look towards the future this is a very young football team and why why, if you can't uh, come to an amicable agreement with a player of his stature like Jarris Bird that you not try to see what you can get for him and try to move forward. But I think that the Buffalo Bills and Jarris Bird's uh, representative, uh, which is attorney Eugene Parker, who is a very shrewd negotiator, I think this is the plan all along. You're giving the Bills an opportunity uh, to come up with a contract extension for next year and if they can't do it by September the 8th I think you're going to ask the Buffalo Bills for a trade I think that's what's going to happen uh, with the Jerry's Bird situation and I, I definitely believe that Jerry's Bird has no intentions of playing the whole year for the Buffalo Bills on a one year deal I just would not do that to me it, it is crazy to try to play professional football on a one year deal unless you have to if you don't have to you don't do it because if you're hurt uh, there is your marketability for the future. And I think Jerry's Bird, there's a very good chance that if an extension is not reached for next year and beyond, that Jerry's Bird will not be a Buffalo Bill. And we'll see Jerry's Bird in another uniform, and the Buffalo Bills will see uh, what they can get in value uh, for a trade for Jerry's Bird. And I would not be surprised if the Buffalo Bills are not protecting their interests and soliciting uh, offers for Jerry's Bird at this time since he is open for a trade. And that tells me that he will not, he's really not happy about trying to play on a one year 
deal. I think Jarius Bird will end up in, in another uniform if this deal is not consummated by the first game of the season. I am the Mighty Oba. We'll see you back here with our preparation uh, for game number one, which will be in just about a week and a half, and we'll get ready for the New England Patriots. That'll be our next video here on CLB TV. I am the Mighty Oba. <laughs>